and this year's Design Thinking Club. Third, fourth, and fifth grade students use the method to help improve the school or solve a problem that the school or the teachers might have. I sent out a Google Form survey to the whole staff to see if they had any problems that the students may be able to solve. In this video, we will take a look at three projects where students used empathy work, such as interviews and observations, and elicited feedback from teachers and administrators. Two fourth grade girls decided to help Ryan Prasad with his design challenge. During his visit to his office, the girls learned that Mr. Prasad needed a way to organize his desk that was full of paper, folders, and books. Through the interview, the students learned about his current organizational system, the limited amount of workspace, his specific preferences, and most importantly, about his dangerous allergy to peanuts. Ms. Trin needed a footstool that she could use to place student work on higher areas of her wall. Through the interview process, two fifth graders and a fourth grader learned that she needed a footstool that was easy to maneuver around her classroom, especially between her students' desks, as well as being safe and effective. Three fourth grade students had the task in helping improve the learning environment of the Center for Teaching and Learning, a space where teachers can come in for collaborative work, professional development sessions, and other important collaborative meetings. The students visited the Center to interview Tara Verena, the Director of Teaching and Learning. She was wondering if the students could make the space more comfortable for teachers to learn, while adding that she wanted to make sure that all supplies, materials, and learning resources are easily accessible and organized. During their visit, students took pictures of how there was not a sufficient amount of room between the tables, especially in the middle of the room. Ms. Verena told them that it was difficult to get through the chairs, especially when people were sitting in them. Additionally, they saw that the office supply station took up a large amount of space against the wall. A third grader and a fifth grader joined forces to tackle a problem that a teacher pointed out regarding the school's assembly. She stated that there were no assigned spots and some grade levels were too big for certain areas. She was wondering if the students could go through the design thinking process to find a solution that will help organize the PAC to be more efficient in the use of space while keeping similar grade levels together. For their empathy work, they took their mobile devices to an assembly and captured what they observed through photographs and videos. This provided students with an archive of observational findings that they used to find valuable insights back in class. One thing that was surprising was that it took students a long time to get to class because of the traffic caused by only having one route for dismissal. 24 classes had to leave the PAC lobby through a single exit to get to their classrooms. All of our students took the information they learned in the empathize phase back to the classroom to start the brainstorming process of designing a solution to their design challenge. After the ideation process, our students start to build their prototypes and generate solutions to their design challenge. Our fourth grade girls decided to build a clean, minimalist desk organizer for Mr. Prasad that took up very little space. It stored numerous documents, folders, and supplies and included a large image that discouraged any peanuts in the area. They created their first prototype and then shared it with Mr. Prasad. The girls used the valuable feedback that they gained from the testing phase to create the final prototype. Here's a before and after shot of his desk. The boys working on Ms. Trin's footstool used a rapid prototyping technique to elicit feedback and then use the feedback to create the next iteration of the prototype. In 15 minutes, students created small footstool prototypes using classroom materials. During the testing phase, Ms. Trin commented on the aspects she liked for each prototype. The students then combined their best ideas and created a new prototype using foam board. After receiving more feedback, they created their final prototype and gave it to Ms. Trent. She was amazed by the student's ability to empathize with the end user to create an awesome product. For the Center of Teaching and Learning, our fourth grade boys decided to create a container that you can place under the chair that would provide storage for school supplies but at the same time not take up additional space and eliminate the current office supply storage area against the wall. This would allow teachers to easily access office supplies whenever needed, which would replace the supply station that takes up space in the room. As a result, the tables would now be placed further from each other, permitting teachers to easily maneuver around the room through the aisles between the tables. After receiving feedback for their first prototype, students made improvements and finally presented their final prototype to the Center for Teaching and Learning. 
the last team of boys and I decided to revisit the Performance Arts Center to take a look at the seating situation and also see if there were any additional exits and routes to their classrooms. We found that there were doors next to the stage that led to another route to the classrooms. Through their observations, the students devised a proposal plan that included new seating arrangements for each class, a protocol for students exiting the PAC, and the use of two additional exits that would potentially decrease the amount of traffic found in the lobby. The boys presented their assembly proposal to administrators, who then provided them with valuable feedback. With some tweaks by the administrator, the plan was implemented into the next assembly. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about how I use design thinking with my students, please check out my book, Design Thinking in the Classroom. The link to the book is in the description below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell for more education videos like this. I would like to give a special thanks to the following people for making these projects possible. Thank you.